Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this Saturday morning mountain weather update. My first stop is radar. This is what's left of our storm system. You're looking at radar out of Colorado and the lowest cut off from the main flow. And this is exactly what I expected. This will be the case today all the way through uh, Sunday, 1020. And then the storm will move away, move out of Colorado, New Mexico on 1021 but uh, you can see the rain and the snow heaviest snow accumulation is going to be above 9,000 feet and it's just getting hammered down there at uh, wolf creek i'll show you what it looks like in a second and some of this will return to the san juans you can see a bit of a break in the action over the san juans right now but some of that's going to flow back over the top as this low continues to spin and that moisture is going to roll up towards the i-70 corridor potentially one more glancing blow for the i-70 corridor with some additional light accumulations as the storm kind of winds and starts to exit to tomorrow into monday um, so that's the way it looks on radar right now I'll take you down to wolf creek you can see the cameras i mean there's just a lot of snow um, i haven't seen any reports as to how much but i'm guessing at least a foot at this point um, you, i mean the cameras are just loaded in fact they were blowing snow the last time i checked this space area camera um, so i mean you're talking some pretty good accumulations now further north there just isn't as much snow and i only expected one to four up around the front range high peaks this is a basin um, you're looking at potentially a dusting to a coating, maybe a couple of inches in spots up higher. You can see on the east wall, I'm sure there's a couple or three inches up there. But nice to see that and the temperatures will be cold enough. They can continue to make snow there at uh, A Basin and Loveland as well and Keystone and wherever else they want to start doing that. So that's the way it looks right now. Let me take you to uh, water vapor satellite imagery and just kind of give you the lay of the land. So there's our cutoff low right there over the four corners. So we're going to continue to see precip spin over the top of New Mexico and Colorado as a result of that through tomorrow. And then the storm would likely exit um, that area on Monday. Then the pattern's all going to shift up here into the Pacific Northwest in BC. And that's where the storm track is going to run for quite some time after this low moves out everything's going to be up there until potentially the end of october and the first week of november i think we'll start to see some storm systems come back south into the intermountain west i think that's going to be an active period for the intermountain west okay let me take a look at my bullet points here for this morning pretty short and sweet colorado new mexico snow above 9,000 um, through 10:20. So that's through tomorrow, and then on Monday the storm exits. Then the pattern shifts up to the north, uh, favoring BC and the Pacific Northwest. I'll show you some of my forecast numbers, and they're pretty impressive for parts of uh, BC. Okay, here's the time height forecast. Let's go back to Colorado, Silverton Mountain Ski Area down there um, in the San Juans. You can see the moisture. This is a relative humidity forecast out about three days. Um, and up through all layers of the atmosphere vertically here. Um, and you can read the timeline at the bottom from right to left. So you can see the green higher humidity levels right now all the way through Sunday. And then uh, that moisture starts to fade by Monday morning, Monday afternoon, and dry air settles back in. So a lot of areas, especially over the San Juans, southern mountains of Colorado, San Gra de Cristos, of course, Wolf Creek, your moisture continues to sit there and be available as the low spins. Um, the atmosphere is, is saturated. So that's good. Now let me take a look down the road. This is Yellowstone, Wyoming snow forecast. So pretty quiet here for the next week. And then once we get into October uh, 22, 23, 24 and beyond, especially at the end of October and early November, this is a 15 day snow forecast. The odds probabilities all go up of accumulating snow so the pattern starts to come back to the south like i was saying and we'll bring some activity back to the lower 48 and the inner mountain west so while it's quiet now we're just gonna it's another waiting game waiting on that moisture to come back at us okay so this is the forecast jet stream by close of business today you can see the cutoff low over the four corners let me uh, move this into sunday there's the low over Colorado, New Mexico, and then it exits on Monday. And then the flow starts to favor the Pacific Northwest in BC um, all the way through probably 24. And then you can see the flow start to shift down to the south. There's a lot more jet wash um, south of the Canadian border by the time we get into late, um, late October. So something to look forward to. So if we put some precip on all of this, here's the forecast radar and satellite by 5 30 this afternoon there's your cutoff low over new mexico colorado continuing to spin with moisture and snow above 9,000, and there's moisture up in bc that's happening as well so here is sunday morning 
There's Sunday afternoon, snow up in the parts of BC. There's the remnant, uh, what's left over of the low, and parts of New Mexico and Colorado. Some additional snow from the southern mountains of Colorado right there. And then by the time we get to Monday, one more swipe of snow for the I-70 corridor and the Front Range High Peaks, maybe a couple of rain showers um, in Denver, and then the whole thing would exit by the afternoon and skies would be clearing. And then what you're seeing is just the whole pattern shifting to the north where it's we're seeing a lot of sunshine and drier weather for the lower 48 until we get to about 1025, 1026, 27, 28. That end of October time frame, we'll start to see some storm systems move their way out of BC in the Pacific Northwest. But there's going to be a fair amount of snow up there in the BC with at least two or three storm systems. Here's my snow forecast. This will run us all the way through today and out to 1028. So by the end of the month, you can see the leftover snow in Colorado, potentially another 5 to 10 inches through parts of the, uh, the San Juan Mountains and Wolf Creek. Um, a couple of 3 inches uh, remaining for parts of Taos and, again, higher elevations, um, mid-mountain and higher for a lot of these places, above 9,000. Um, a little bit of additional snow Sunday, Monday for the I-70 corridor, and then that's going to do, and that lows out of there. And then everything else is pretty much up in the Pacific Northwest, Northern Tier, and BC, where we could see up to a foot of snow. Anywhere you see purple up there, that's a foot or more, and that's over the highest peaks of parts of British Columbia. So there's still a, a significant amount of snow yet to fall up there in parts of BC. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, Saturday morning mountain weather update. Uh, I'll leave you here. This was the uh, the high res of that uh, of Wolf Creek down there, and you can see the guy blowing snow. Uh, and we still have uh, another two days, uh, one and a half to two days worth of snow yet to go for the southern mountains of Colorado. Guys, take care and have a great day.